So in my last video, I did a step-by-step -step build of this circuit based on the schematic here. There's also another schematic that looks a little bit more on the way that I put it on the breadboard, but uh, we're not going to go into that right now. What this circuit is, is an A-stable multi-vibrator, and it's controlled by these two 2N2222 transistors. As you can see here, 2N2222. These have an A after the 2N2222, so 2N2222A, but uh, it works just the same as any other 2N2222 transistor. And, in fact, down here I have 2N3904 transistors. These are another common NPN type transistor, and they have the same pin layout. So looking at the flat side, left one's emitter, middle one's base, right side's collector, exactly like uh, the 2N2222. And uh, as I said, it's also an NPN. I believe all transistors that start with 2N have this pin layout. And I think they're all bipolar junction transistors. But uh, in any case, what we're going to do, we're going to swap these two transistors out. And what we should find, this is the 2N2222. Set it down there for a little bit. This is the 2N3904. So it's different marking and stuff, but it's still an NPN transistor. And in this circuit, we should see that it makes no difference. It behaves the same. So they do have slightly different properties. These ones can handle more power. The 2N2222, the 2N3904 should be able to switch faster and it doesn't need to switch faster in this circuit it's a really slow circuit these transistors can switch much faster than this and it's not uh, passing much power so in this circuit it doesn't matter which transistors we're using but to uh, keep things pretty much the same otherwise I'm gonna put the 2N2222's back where they were and we're going to look at the other components in this circuit. So next we come to the resistors protecting the LEDs and also the transistor from current. But we got 5 volts so to protect the LED we're going to use 220 ohms and that's close to the minimum amount of resistance you want to protect an LED uh, if it's uh, one of these LEDs. So to begin with that's determining the brightness of the LEDs and so I took those resistors out of this package 220 ohms there's also color coding on them but uh, I'm gonna replace those uh, 220 ohm resistors with the two kilo ohm resistors that I have right here I just took them out of the packaging there so we're gonna have about 10 times the resistance and as always when you're modifying the circuit turn the power off so I'm gonna set these two off to the side and uh, they were the ones protecting the LEDs so we're coming right to the LED there's a little wider gap there this resistor is uh, already set to a little bit wider make sure I get into the right rows there same with this one There you go. Now when I turn on the uh, power, you see that the LEDs, they're flashing at the same speed, but they're not as bright. And to uh, demonstrate that a little better, I'm just going to cut to when I replace these two resistors with the original two again. So these are two kilo ohm resistors, and I'm going to replace them with the original 220 ohm resistors that we had and there you should be able to see the difference I don't know if it's showing up as much in camera, but it's quite a bit uh, brighter now But as you can see it was still decently bright when we were using the two kilo ohm resistors So when you're using a resistor to protect components and stuff There's a good chance you can go quite a bit higher in the resistance without affecting the circuit other than the LED won't be as bright. So now we covered the transistors, any transistor, uh, NPN type transistor I should say, 
will work just fine in this circuit. The pin layout though should be the same. When I swap these out the pin layouts are the same. If the pin layout's different because it's not a 2N transistor and it has a different pin layout you'll have to do a little wiring but uh, as long as it's an NPN transistor with the same pin layout in this basic electronic circuit you can just swap the transistor and then the resistors the resistance value here that's just a minimum you know you just have to control the current going through the LED you can go higher as I did here the LED just won't be as bright it didn't alter the circuit otherwise though so now we come to the two components that really make a big difference so that's the capacitors and the resistors these values matter and to be honest the capacitors are probably going to be the tough one for you to find because these are 47 mi microfarad capacitors I didn't build this from a schematic that said 47 microfarad on it I built it from different capacitor values but the change in capacitance let me know the change of resistance I should do and it worked out uh, just fine so I'm gonna go over that with different value capacitors so these were 47 microfarad I got these from a capacitor kit so I'm guessing you don't have 47 microfarad capacitors that kit with the 47 microfarad capacitors the next value was 470 microfarad and it's also the highest value in the kit that's why I use it in a lot of videos because it has a lot of capacitance it's easy to do these electronics videos with a lot of capacitance easier to make LEDs light up longer and stuff so in any case when we swap out the 47 microfarad for the 470 microfarads I'll show you what happens if we don't change the resistor value so now I did a quick swap as you can see the capacitors are much larger they also have a much larger capacitance generally larger capacitors have more capacitance and I'll hit the power watch the LEDs you'll notice they kinda both lit up at first but uh, ultimately one took charge now you can see it's taking the LEDs a lot longer to uh, switch back and forth that's because we have more capacitance it takes longer to charge them to a certain voltage but we can drop the resistance so that uh, more current gets to the capacitors they charge faster and so since we increased the capacitance by 10 times instead of 47 we have 470 ideally we would like one tenth of the uh, resistance so that would be 2.7 kilo ohms I don't have a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor in this particular kit and so I'm gonna go with a slightly lower resistance and so we would expect that the LEDs would flash slightly faster than they did with the 47 microfarad capacitors with the 27 kilo ohm uh, resistors so I will quickly do that now so now I swapped out the resistors, 27 kilo ohms are waiting down there because we're going to grab them again and uh, up here now to the capacitors I have 2 kilo ohm resistors and you can see they're flashing a bit faster but still close to the speed that we had before. That's because we have 10 times the capacitance and close to 1 tenth the resistance. It's a little less than 1 tenth of the resistance so that's gonna make it go a little faster because we're getting a little more current than we want but you can see it's pretty easy if you don't have the exact value capacitor you want to use a different capacitor in a timing circuit and adjust the uh, resistors in that timing circuit accordingly so now moving along we're back to the 47 microfarad capacitors and I already started working on this made it part of the diagram here I wrote uh, the 470 microfarad with 2 kilo ohm resistor that gives us about the same speed flashing but slightly faster as I demonstrated before so now another kit that I had has 100 microfarad capacitors so I do have some 100 microfarad capacitors but less 100 microfarad than uh, 47 
micro farad capacitors. But what I'm going to do is, since I have 27 kilo ohms of resistance, since these capacitors have twice the capacitance, almost exactly twice, just slightly different, but uh, since they have twice the capacitance, we're going to want half the resistance. So I'm going to get about half of the resistance with these 15 kilo ohm resistors and we'll compare the flashing to what we have right now. And there we go. I moved the 47 microfarad down here, swapped them for 100. I moved the 27 kilo ohm resistors down and swapped them for about the one half of the resistance, 15 kilo ohm resistors up there. And you can see it's flashing pretty much the same speed, maybe exactly the same speed. And so we made uh, that adjustment. Instead of the value on the sheet, we went with twice the resistance, but or twice the capacitance, but half of the resistance and got a pretty much the same speed. So now I have the uh, 47 microfarad capacitors back on there with the 27 kilo ohm, oops, 27 kilo ohm resistors back on there too. And now here we have 10 microfarad capacitors down here 10 microfarad and with the resistors I have from this kit 10 microfarads is pretty much one-fifth of the capacitance of 47 microfarad so if we want the same speed then we would want five times the resistance and uh, 27 times 5 27 kilo ohms times 5 is close to 125 kilo ohms. I don't have one in that range. This is the closest value I have, 100 kilo ohms. So this will be slightly less than one fourth of the resistance when I swap the two capacitors and the two resistor values. We should see that it goes slightly faster. And now I am done with the swap and you can see it's going a bit faster. Not a whole lot faster but a bit faster and that's because we gave it about one uh, four times the uh, resistance instead of five times the resistance so now to wrap this up we went back to the original circuit here's my little uh, kind of a bin of components I use in a lot of my videos there's a number of 470 microfarad capacitors because that's uh, my largest value that I also have a fair number of them. I think I have seven or maybe ten, something like that, because they came in a particular capacitor kit. And so that's why I use them in so many of my videos. Now you may not even have a 470 microfarad capacitor. That's why I did this video. Hopefully made it a lot easier for you to make adjustments. So you grab the capacitor you have and then adjust the resistor accordingly. Uh, I wish we all had the same electronic components it would make things a lot easier. I would design the uh, schematic symbol based on the same kit if everybody had the same kit but uh, unfortunately I don't know what kits you got so I just uh, stick with what's easiest for me and unfortunately you'll have to make the adjustments if you try building the same circuit I built but with uh, slightly different components.